Oh, I'm going to show you how I go about making kick drums right now. Uh, I've been using the PAL Baseline 101 DST. Now it's really cool. If you turn down all the oscillators, and then you, you turn the resonance on the filter right the way up, Uh, um, I like to do layer two of these. Do that by grouping and then duplicating. And on the second layer, I like to make it really sharp and snappy. Turn the envelope up all the way, tighten it. Then the secret source. Use filter FM. Turn that up. EQ out on it. Pull out the bottom of the low end. Add another layer. Okay, keep going. And this one's just going to be like the snap. Let's call this the low end. This one, no oh, body. This one, snap. This envelope to be super tight. elements together but with the multi-band compression and I just put put a put a um, I just like to use the preset I don't know too much about multi-band compression but preset good result After the uh, multi band compression, try some EQ. Do 
some tube this time. I would do is put that in a sampler, tighten it up a bit, put it in Filter drive. Filter. Reverb. Hey guys, kick drum for you. Oh, I want to make some low end go with this kick drum. It's going to be pretty difficult because if you look at the um, waveform. There's a ton of low end rumbling. What if you wanted to put a sub bass? What if you wanted to put a sub bass to go with that kick? How would you do it? I don't know. I'd start by eating out the low end. See how that goes.
now we have cleaned up the picture I'm using each two, cleaned out some muddy frequency, and we've made a bit of space down in the low end. So now add a sub bass line. Now what I like to do to check if there's flashing frequency, I'll put a EQ on the master channel. Let them play. Check visually if there's a clash. See that sub bass? The harmonic is just below the main harmonic of the kick, so that's that kind of works. Not much more I would need to do, uh, except turn the sub bass down a little bit. Tighten up the volume envelope. Then put a sidechain compressor on there. Taking the audio from your kick drum. Name it. Bob. Side chain input coming from that kick drum we just created. Every time that kick drum plays, it's trigger this pressure and stop the volume on the sub bass every time the kick hits. Now what we could do to make this sound a bit fatter is actually glue the sub bass and the kick drum together. To do that I would group two channels together. Control G. For a bit of saturation. And a bit of compression.
finally a bit of EQ just to clean up any mud in the game. Turn the kick down a little. Good thing to do when you're using the blue compressor to high pass the input signal so that it's getting triggered by the kick drum and not the sub bass. around to like 80 hertz So that's it, that's your kick and your sub.